Why, hello everyone, Disturb49ers here, and today I'm going to tell you my favorite exotic weapons in Destiny 2. From primary to secondary and to heavy. Now I can go and use the weapons themselves, but I'd rather tell you them. Then I will show you a little bit of what they do. And get some gameplay. But for now, I'm in orbit. As you can tell, flying in orbit. Oops. I almost pressed the wrong button and I've been playing Outriders too much. Where should I st um, Let's go to the collections for the exotics. Now I'm going to tell you my favorite exotics from kinetic to energy to power, like I said before. So my first favorite um, kinetic exotic, you can see, is the bad juju. I I have this gun in Destiny One. It was it's a really useful um, pulse rifle. I just like the way it um, works. Um, every time you shoot something, it refills your ammo back. And here's the perk that um, tells you. Right here. Okay, my second favorite exotic. is the Malfeasance Exotic. We get this from, this was from Season of the, what was it, Season of the Drifter or Season of the, yeah, Season of, of the Drifter, back, um, way back. Yep, this is one of the um, ornaments I have for it. Um, it's a really good, if you're doing this in, like, let's say you're doing PvE, um, it's good against Taken, because it's, of its perk it has. It's a really fun weapon, and a very hard quest to do. The bad Juju quest is not that hard. You just have to know what you're doing. Okay, my next favorite weapon in the exotic category for kinetic is the no time to explain um and yes i have the ornament for it pretty cool it looks like it's covered in ice i also have the catalyst um So, um, it's pretty fun to use it and where it says rewind again, when you shoot a couple of enemies, you have to get to a certain number, I think. And then you get like this little, um, um, time, time paradox, um, bullets that come out of the weapon. It doesn't come, sh you don't shoot through the weapon, it comes like as like a little like, um, it's kind of like when you use Arc Soul as a warlock, basically. So, that's why I like this weapon. Uh, my favorite, my second favorite weapon, my, I guess my fourth, is the, is the newest addition to the, um, exotic Exotic Kinetics, and that is the Dead Man's Tail Exotic. Now you get this from doing the Passage um, questline. It's a very fun mission to do if you're doing this with friends. And yes, I do have this gun on me at the moment. I'm just not using it. Oh, whoops. 
Um, when you get, it says carnal spike. When you shoot somebody, like, let's say you shoot like a group of dregs in the face. The next bullet you shoot, basically, um, instantly, like that, like does like twice the damage that it does. <laughs> my my fifth, I guess, is the Hawkman. Now, I have this weapon as well in Destiny One. Very fun weapon to use. I also have three, um, kind of three, uh, or two, <laughs> not three, two, um, ornaments for the weapon. I also have the catalyst as well. The, the paracausal, I can't say that, paracausal shot. There, there you go. I said it. Um, it, well, the perk tells you what it does right here. Basically, it gives you a very powerful shot, basically. And yes, here's the lore. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, and my favorite, and here's one of my favorite hand cannons, the Ace of Spades. This was basically the, and yes, I do have the callus. Mento More, is one of the best per well is the exotic perks that this weapon has and it just gives and as it says it says extra damage right here extra damage bullets grants radar while aiming down the sights it is a really good um pve and pvp um weapon to use i use it in both and i got a couple kills with it where is it Where's my other one? My other favorite um, hand cannon. Ah, here it is. I do have a third favorite. The Crimson. Now, the Crimson is a very special, and I have three, kind of three um, ornaments for this exotic. Basically, this is basically the Red Death in uh, hand cannon form, basically. Now, what the Red Death is, is basically a um, pulse rifle that fires three shots and it, this kind of looks just like it because it looks like the red death that's what it's actually known as and my next favorite um hand cannon is the thorn and yes I do and again I do have this in destiny one very hard quest to do this one was not as hard I had people with me, but the mark of the devourer is the perk that I, that's part. Now, I forget what this gun does because I haven't used it in a while. But there's an exotic for the warlocks that actually doubles the damage for this perk. So if you had that as a combo, you can basically do a, a whole ton of damage. And my favorite pulse rifle, of course, is the Alpre Perfected. This is what it originally looks like back from Destiny 1. I do not, ha and plus, I do not have this gun in D1. But I do have it here in Destiny 2. And here's the ornament for it, which I actually really like using. It is on me at the moment. Here's the catalyst. You got to get this weapon, you got to do the zero hour, but now it's part of the loot pool, or it's part of the. I don't know where you get now get it from. I don't think Bungie put it out yet. Yet. I don't know. Am I missing another favorite? Nope. Oh, yeah. Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo exotic. A very fun weapon to use. I have it on me as well. The Monte Carlo method is its perk, and it basically um I forgot what the perk perk does again. 
but it's a very fun weapon to use. Here's the lore. I just flashed the lore at you guys. Now it's time for energy weapons. First off the bat, I would say the best for last, basically for my favorite, favorite one. Here's an, here, a brand new exotic that um, we get through the season pass and it's known as Pecu's Deviation. And here's the ornament for it. It doesn't basically change much. Because normal, normally it changes the appearance of the weapon, but not by a little. Uh, Sacred Flame is the perk, um, and it gives out crit damage when you fire it. It's a very fun weapon to use. Tommy's Matchbook is a very fun auto rifle. Very fun. I love it. Also have the catalyst right here. Ignition trigger. Basically, it this it says it right here too. The this weapon overheats, increasing damage, but turning, burning the user. Think about think about the touch of malice back in Destiny One. Now the touch of malice did the same thing to you when you fire the scout rifle. It basically just t takes damage, takes damage from you. Um, when you use the weapon, it kind of kind of goes back like that. And now another new exotic is the exotic sniper rifle called the Cloud Strike. And I do also have the um, ornament for it. That word. And I love the perk it gives. It says, "Mor mortal." Polarity. Precision final blows gr generate a lightning bolt at the target's location. So basically, if you have a full, like, let's say you have a whole bunch of dregs um, coming at you and you shoot one in the face, it basically does like an area of effect and it kill and it damages half the, um, well, it will probably kill them off as well because it does like, uh, chain a chain reaction to the surrounding area basically I think that's what it does I can't remember from way way from last season um, we call this the piece of wood basically as it technically looks like a piece of wood here's the catalyst I don't have an ornament sadly um, the realist effigy I like the Trans, trans, um, we use, we call it the ball, uh, the ball of, it's fun to use. It's, it, I call it the ball of, I call it basketball, actually. I grab a basketball from the, <laughs> from the, um, target. And when I kill the target with this trace rifle, and then I slam people with it. My favorite, my next favorite one is the Rix Runner. Now, if you are a arc, any type of arc, well, it it works only when you're fighting like fallen, because most of the fall, except for, I guess the knights when they shoot their boomers at you, but. Any um, one of the anyone from the fallen from actually the fallen any type of fallen faction basically um, the splinter um, not what they're called I'm just going to call them Aramis's fallen because I don't know what the actual name was I forgot. Since they all use arc, basically you get like this shield of electricity when you get hit by any arc damage, and it just busts the weapon. That's what this does. The perk does basically. 
A fun weapon to use in Crucible, of, of course, is the Jotun. We call this the microwave or the toaster. It's fun. <laughs> it's just really, really fun to use. It, it kind of looks kind of odd to you because of the, the shape and the design that, that they made. But it's a very fun exotic to use in Crucible. Especially when you're doing Crimson Doubles. Me and my friend Matt were just like having a blast in Crimson Doubles because of the, this weapon. It's very fun. Very, very fun to use. Um, next is the cemetery. Or cementary. This was a... When we were doing the sundial, it was during that... Basically, that that um, season. I can't really remember. But, but here's the perk. I don't really need to tell you everything that this gun does, but this is what the gun actually does. When you hit basically 20, you all you have to do is do a long press with the weapon and it becomes like this supercharged um, scout rifle, basically, with arc energy. The Le Marnark is my one of my favorite bows in the um, energy, one of the energies. I have another favorite bow that I like to use as well. Um, the Marnark is, it basically gives, even though it's void, it gives out basically like this poison damage, basically. It just gives out poisonous damage. Fun to use. Where is it? There it is, the other one. Oh, uh, there's, there it is. The Trinity Ghoul. It's very similar to that of the Cloud Strike, but in bow form, basically. And here's the perk that it, that comes with it. I really don't need to tell you guys, because it's the perks right here, to actually explain what it does. My favorite pulse rifle <laughs> is the Graviton Lance. I just love the way that it works. It was back in during like curse. Well, when the first. Well, it's just good in general, basically, because of what it does. It's very deadly, also in Crucible. <laughs> it's super deadly in Crucible. I get I got killed by this weapon way too much in Crucible. I have two pound two ornaments. The Terraba is was from the Crown of Sorrow raid. It does have a, a a ornament, but I don't have it. This is what and whoops. This is the prick. Ravenous Beast. Basically, it increases the damage. It says it right here. It was right here. I don't really need to say it because it's right here. I'm just telling you what it does. Um. Ah, and time for the final one. The Divinity. Now, to get this weapon, I think you need to talk to Eris, I think. Oh, wait, no. To start on it, you need to go to Eris, where Eris is when you first meet her during the the uh, one of the cutscenes from the from Shadowkeep, and it's during if you um, are not if you just do patrol, you go back to that one area. So basically, you need a way to get back over there. So. That's the best way to actually. The best way w way to go to that place is through um, the harbor on the moon. You had to interact with the um, hive statues that are there. Then you have to um, perform a lot of tasks, and one of the final tasks 
is doing the crown of the Garden of Salvation raid. And it's a very, not say very hard one to do. For me, I just had a really good team and we just knocked it out of the park and it was really easy. And they were, and the guys I was with were really nice and helped me out getting it, so I was really happy. On to the power section. Now you see that this is the this is the only exotic right here, Eyes of Tomorrow, which is a Galhorn 2.0. Um, it I don't have this weapon yet, so I don't know what it does. I know, well, I yeah, I do know what it does. Basically, Galhorn again. I'll save this for last. Course. My favorite weapon, of course, is a throwback to um, Destiny 1 and this well, yeah, Destiny 1. This gun basically had two forms, the Black Hammer and the Black sp Spindle. Black Hammer is where you get, um, how to get the Black Hammer, you have to do Kuro's End to get it, uh, RNG sometimes. To get a black spindle, you have to do a certain quest line, but you have to immediately turn right, I think, after you get to like where you're supposed to end the mission at. And then you start this whole entire quest, but I say you do it um, to get this weapon is really hard to get, so I suggest you do it with three people. But now for the, uh, to talk about this weapon, this weapon is um, very similar to it. It has a, something called White Nail. It's basically the same, it's, it's the same exotic, basically, as Black Spindle. And it tells you right here what it does. Here's the lore. Have you ever heard of it? The Whispers. Thank you, Bye, for that one. Thank, thank you for making that lore video. Life. Deathbringer. Whoop, wrong weapon. Deathbringer. Um, avoid vault. Um, this rocket launcher is pretty fun to use. You can basically. Basically, you can just hold this in by pressing. Um,. I think LT or RT, I can't really tell what that actually says right there, but I've used it once or twice in PvE. PvE. Just around, like, pissing it out. Thunderlord. Thunderlord. Um, very fun weapon. I don't have an ornament, sadly. But this weapon is very fun to use. I like the damage it does. Very fun. Anarchy! Now, I do have an anarchy actually on me at the moment. What this, what this grenade launcher does is basically, you can basically make a diamond or a triangle Whatever enemy steps into the web. Well, it says it right here. Arc traps. And we call it the web. Because technically you web an area. And does a chain. Arc chain, basically. And it just damages foes. Black Talon. One of the exotic swords that I got. First got during Forsaken. It was just a lucky draw for me. I just enjoyed this weapon a lot. This is the ornament for it. But I don't like the ornament, so I just like the way it looks. It's, it's basically that it's a callback back to like the Dark Drinker back in Destiny 1. It has the same kind of Dark Drinker style to it. But the only sword that actually kind of reminds you of the Dark Drinker is the. It's an, a legendary sword called the Falling Guillotine. It just makes you spin in circles, basically. 
does very good damage. <laughs> 1k voice says, one of the very, and funny thing is, one of the very first drops I got during the, uh, uh, oh, whoops, I almost called it King's Fall, uh, during the um, last wish raid. Very first drop that I ever got. And Makara's Eye. Basically, it basically, it one, it's, this fusion rifle is a very strong fusion rifle. Very strong. The Eye of Death. Um, Barbaric Ham, no, not Barbaric Ham, I think I said, I said this, um, that this is like the Eye of Death. Because you're using a very powerful fusion rifle that can kill, basically. Here's the ornament, by the way. I don't like the ornament. Truth. What? Wrong weapon. Truth. I have this in Destiny 1. Very powerful rocket launcher. Very fun to use. Very fun quest to do as well. You can't do it anymore. But, yep, very fun weapon. The colony! Fun weapon. Very fun weapon. I have three of these. I really like this look. It kind of gives out like that SIVA look to it, the the red and black SIVA look. I just like the way it looks. Basically, you have like a bug inside the weapon and it just like detonates on impact. Very similar to that of the Xenophage, but that's not one of my favorite weapons. Last but not least, the Lament. Now, if you saw my video on the Lament quest, I show you the entire full quest line for it. It's very fun to use. That's all I can say. I use it a lot during the raid. Basically, you're wielding a sword that's very, very powerful. Basically, you're kind of like using a gun as well because of the trigger right here. But it's a very strong exotic. And also what it does too. Even bright shields. A triangle shield. A that's what I call it. Triangle shield. Now to show you what they do, let's go into onto Europa. Or only from some of my favorite exotics, I'll show you what they do. We're going to go to Inventive Ruins. No, wait. Let's go here. This area. Because that's where I can just regain my super. So what I'm going to show you first... And look, see? I have Divinity and Cloud Strike on with me, so... So I'm going to first show you Monte Carlo. Now you'll see what, what it does. And yes, this is my hunter. show you actually this is regeneration is what we get when we're in this area 
Basically, our stasis powers actually increase. Is he? Is he? That guy up. Tell the stupid perk that says um Markin's claw. That's the perk or you actually true perk. But it does. Now show you the Hawkman. Show you dead man's tail. You saw a carnal spike show up. Tell there's a blizzard on the way. Don't worry, I'm not having to worry about it. Now time. Oh, now time for my favorite weapon to use. The outbreak perfected. And we'll switch to secondary. What do you want those? Those do. I have a first final group of enemies, of course. Sounds out. See the clusters or see the nanites. Man I killed this thing. I haven't killed anything in Destiny in a while. Done any loot. I haven't seen that weapon in a while either. These last ones, do it, these do. Links to um, the stasis 
buff that we get and also orbs of light that we get. If you have the catalyst for any of the weapons, it grants you orbs. Luckily, I just well, I will put this on. Go go to my cloud strike and show you what this does. But first, I need now I need ammo. Right. So I gotta kill things now. And there we go. Ammo for cloud strike. See if the those effects have re reappeared like they did. Maybe. Now you just saw that bolt of lightning, right, guys? That's what that part does. It basically sends out a bolt of lightning. So let's also wait for the those fallen to come out and it looks like that are back. Oh, I killed them all. going to get them hurt. Okay. I got more ammo. Aramis may be gone, A lot more ammo. But her empire oh, great. remains. A drilling party comes to grow their reserves. Tear out their roots in now, most of you uh, who have been playing Destiny 2 and been on Europa, like most of you have of all of us, you, and you go over here, you'll see these missiles or debris. I think they're either debris or missiles that are coming out of the sky. This is when we are f uh, finishing up the raid. That's why you see these. Everything that you see right here, like the those um, uh, firing down, are all from the spacecraft that were in when we were fi finding Tanix during the during the raid, Deep Stone Crypt, Third Stone Raid. See, there you go. They're what that weapon does. It even gives out a chain reaction. Like I said, a chain reaction. Now for the divinity. Oops, that people here. here. Now what this does is a pretty fun weapon. Value target, I can show you what this actually does. But I have to wait until either a break shows out or just a random high value come out. Enemies over there. 
I think that's glimmer extraction, I'm not doing it alone. Sometimes normally you can trigger whatever is over here. Yeah, with what you was over there. Oh, wait for another break. It looks like. Can't show you what this does if I don't have a more powerful enemy. Wait, I can go to the other area and show you. I really forgot about the other areas. Now sometimes other people are over here doing um, some hunts. Now you see that thing that was around that um, server? That's what the first does. Or that's what this book does. Seriously, I am a f I am a ninja. <laughs> I am a space ninja. Well, hunters are actually ninjas. Now, do you see that orb uh, uh, that is around the enemy? It even damages. Like, if you fight against Tanix during the raid, you go under Tanix's um, belly, I guess. Shoot him. Oh, you have to shoot him under his ch on his chest. And then there will be um, an orb that drops drops for, for your allies. And then you shoot through it, and then... Oh, high value target might be out. Well, you just saw me use this weapon already, so. Is that drag? Sometimes there's a guy who just sits right here. Where I am right now, where he will sit. Alright. Now let's switch back to our normal weapons. I'm getting shot at by a servitor and a dragon. Did not realize I was getting shot by them. Well, I do have the Xenophage with me, I just forgot to put it in my vault. But I'm going to show you on how to use Anarchy. First, I got more, now more ammo. Okay, hopefully those guys will give it to me. Come here. Come here. Okay, let's do that. Whoa. I need to find a group of enemies and I know where to go. But I can either go back to where I was or I could go, come over, go over here. Oh, 
shit, there's a brick. See what that does? I gotta kill these. Like that, see? You can I'm for the last one. The Lament Sword. I haven't seen this shotgun in a while. In a while. Don't need it. Let's go back to that area. <laughs> so I died. Well guys, I showed you what most of my favorite exotics actually can do. Guys, thank you for watching this um, Destiny 2 um, favorite Dotic weapons video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit with my, even with a little bit of me having a speech impediment, but I got through it and I showed you even what some of those exotics do. I really actually do enjoy making these videos. So please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me also on Twitch. Here on Twitch, I really wouldn't. We're glad I make more videos for you guys if you could just do, make me happy. Like just um, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is in the link. Actually, I think is it on Twitch? No, it's not. Sorry, I was thinking out loud. Um, but for Twitch, you can 
Oh. You can just go to my channel, which is the Sir 49ers 2 LT, where you see technically all my content. Well, that's where my content goes here from Twitch. So that's where mostly everything goes. But like I said again, if you do that, rate, comment, and subscribing to both. Oh, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe on YouTube and subscribe to my Twitch. That'll help me make more videos for you guys, and I would appreciate it because hey I like making videos and I like making content so there's the thing for you guys <laughs> I didn't sorry that last bit I didn't know what else to say so I'm pretty sure I don't know what I'm saying right now either, either. so I will see you guys actually really soon I am actually going to go into Halo the Master Chief Collection and redo that old video that I did a long time ago because it doesn't sound like I was actually making any sense. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned.